Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to auto-generate articles using Anthropic Cloud AI. So here, let's say that whenever I add a new title in a new row in my Google Sheets, then I wish to create an article automatically by using Anthropic. Once the article is generated, then I want to create a document consisting with the same article. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these applications for which I will be using Pavli Connect, where my trigger application will be Google Sheets and my action applications will be Anthropic and Google Docs. So now to learn more about this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will understand how to auto-generate articles using Anthropic Cloud AI. So here let's say that you have got certain titles which are a part of your Google Sheets or any other spreadsheet. And now you want that every time a new title is added in this Google Sheet, then you want that with that title automatically an article should be generated. The same can be done by using Anthropic, which is an AI safety and research company. Once the article is generated, then a document should be created under the name of the same title and then the generated article should become the part of the document. Now the same can be done by using this amazing integration and automation software that is Pabli Connect. So here as an existing user, I will simply sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and you will get 100 tasks for free every month. So as an existing user, I will sign in. Now this here is the all applications page by Pabli. I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. This here is my dashboard and to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. And here in this dialog box appearing, I will give my workflow a name and I have named it as auto generate articles using Anthropics Cloud AI. And over here, you can see that on my left hand side, these are the folders which I have created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Anthropic. And now here I will simply click on create. As I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So moving to my trigger window, as my use case suggests, that is to auto-generate articles using Anthropics Cloud AI. So here, as I have my titles in a Google Sheet, so here I'm going to search for Google Sheets and here it is. Now, once I've selected my trigger application, I need to select the trigger event that will be new or updated spreadsheet row. This trigger will start working whenever a new spreadsheet row will be added or updated. So here I'm selecting this. Now, as I've selected the trigger application and the trigger event, here you can see that a webhook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully because this webhook URL will act as a bridge to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So now I will take you to my Google Sheets. So here you can see that this is the sheet which I have created. It consists of two columns. One is titles for articles and another one is release date. Here the name of my Google Sheet is Anthropics Cloud AI and it only consists of one sheet. So over here, as I've mentioned this title and a release date for the same. So now the first step of this automation will be to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So here to do that, I will simply go to extensions and now in extensions, I will go to Pabli Connect webhooks. So you should have Pabli Connect webhooks and you can get the same by going to get add-ons. And here in the search bar, you can search for Pabli Connect webhooks and here it is. So as I've already installed this extension, so it says installed, you can also follow the same process to install the same. Now I will close this and here in extensions, I will go to Pabli Connect webhooks and then I will go to initial setup. So now here in initial setup, you can see that the selected sheet is sheet one as my spreadsheet only consists of one sheet moving to webhook URL. So over here, I need to mention the URL for which I will go to Pabli Connect. And here I'm going to copy the webhook URL. And now I'm going to paste the same over here. Now moving to trigger column. So the trigger column will be your final data column on which the data is to be added and data till that row will be sent to the webhook URL. So over here, as I only have two columns, so B will be my trigger column. And now here I'm going to submit it. So here you can see that the setup is configured successfully. I will close this. 
Now I will go to extensions and here I will go to Pabli Connect Webbooks once again and now I am going to click on send on event. So by clicking on send on event, now whenever a new row will be added in this Google Sheet, then automatically the details of that row will be captured in Pabli Connect as well. So here I am going to select this send on event. Once this is done, I am going to refresh it. So now here I am going to mention a title that will be instant ways to get better at public speaking. So here I've mentioned this title and I'm going to give the release date as of 11, 12, 2023. So here I've added the details in the new row. Now these details would have been captured by Pabli Connect as well. So here in Pabli Connect, you can see that I have received a response. Here you can see the trigger column. Here you can see the title for the article. Here is the spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index and the release date. That means the details which I have just added in my Google Sheet in a new row is successfully captured by this webbook over here in Pabli Connect. So the first step of this automation is set up. Now whenever a new row will be added in Google Sheets, then automatically the details of that row will be captured over here in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. Now moving ahead, as I want to auto-generate these articles by using Anthropics Cloud AI. So now to do this, here in my action window, I'm going to search for Anthropic. And here it is. Once this is done, I will select the action event that will be create completion generates a completion on the basis of a given prompt. So here I'm selecting this as my action application. And now here I will simply click on connect. So if you have an existing connection, you can go with the same or you can simply add a new connection. So to add a new connection, you need to enter the API key over here. You can even click on this hyperlink to go to your account setting page. So as I already have an existing connection, so here I'm going with the same and now I will click on save. So here Anthropic is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So here the model which I'm using is Claude 2. Moving to prompt. So here I need to give the prompt that needs to be completed. So here I'm writing it as write an article on the topic. And now here I'm going to mention the topic. So for the topic, I'm going to map it from the response that I've received. So basically mapping is to insert the data from previous step. So here this is the title and I'm going to map it. So here I've mapped the prompt. So now moving to max tokens to sample. So here you need to enter the maximum number of tokens to generate before stopping. So I'm keeping it as 350. Now once this is done here, I'm going to select the temperature. So temperature is the amount of randomness in the response. So here the default is 1. It ranges from 0 to 1. So if you are using it for some analytical task, so use lower value. And if you're using it for some creative task, then use a higher value. Make sure it should be less than or equal to 1. So here I'm going to select the temperature as one. So to enhance more creativity in your article, you can go with these fields as well. So as of now, I'm simply going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I've received a response and here is my article. It is automatically generated by using artificial intelligence. So here you can see that our article is successfully generated. Here you can see the stop reason as I've given the tokens over there as 350. So here the stop reason is max tokens. Here is the model that was Claude 2.0 and here is my log ID. So now moving ahead here as I don't want this part to go ahead in the document. So now to split it, I'm going to use text formatter by Pabli. So here I'm going to click on this add action step. And here I'm going to search for text formatter. And here it is. So over here, the action event will be split text. I'm selecting it. And now over here, I will click on connect. So now moving to text to split. So here I need to enter the text that is to be split in different parts. So here I'm going to map it from the response that I've received from Anthropic. And here is the text that is to be split. Now moving to the separator. 
So here I need to select the separator. So over here, as I only want the part that starts by instant. So here I'm going to put the separator as speaking. And now here I will go to segment index that will be second because I want the second part. So here I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here I've received the response and here you can see that I've got the article completely. So here you can see that the part which I wanted to remove is not visible anymore. That means it is split into two different parts. So this is the part with which I want to go ahead. So moving further here, I will again click on this add action step. Now, as I want to create a document and then I want to add this article in that particular document. So here I am going to search for my next action application as Google Docs and here it is. So here I've selected the action application as Google Docs and over here the action event will be create a blank document. So now I need to establish a connection between Google Docs and Paply Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. So if you have an existing connection, you can go with the same or you can simply add a new connection. So to add a new connection, you just need to sign in with your Google account. And over here, select your account. So as this is a safe connection, I'm simply going to click on allow. So here the authorization was successful and Pabli Connect is successfully connected with Google Docs. Moving to document name here, I need to give a name to my document. So I'm going to give my document the name just as my title. So here I'm going to map the title and this will be the document name as well. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here I've received a response and it is a positive response. Now I will take you to my Google Docs account and here you can see that a blank template has been successfully created over here in Google Docs. So here you can see the name that goes as instant ways to get better at public speaking. So here you can see that it is a blank document as of now. So it is successfully created over here in Google Docs. So now here in Public Connect, this step was also successful. So scrolling down and I will again click on this add action step. Now, as I want to add the article that is generated by Anthropic in that Google document. So to do that again, I will search for Google Docs. Here it is. And now the action event will be append a paragraph to a document. That means it will insert a paragraph to a document. So here I'm selecting it. And now again, I will click on connect. So here as I've just now connected Google Docs with Pabli Connect, so I will go with the existing connection. So now I will click on save. So here Google Docs is once again connected with Pabli Connect. So now here moving to document. So instead of selecting the document from here from this drop down, I'm going to map it. So this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response with new data, so that data can be taken into consideration over here. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information would have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So over here, if I would have selected the document name from the drop down, then even if a new article would have been generated, it would have been added to the same document. So to avoid this, so I've selected mapping over here. So here I'm going to remove this. So now over here, I'm going to map the document ID from the response that I've received. So here, this is the document ID and I'm going to map it and it's mapped successfully. So now here in inserted text, I need to mention the article over here. So again, I'm going to use mapping and I'm going to map the article that is generated. So here from the response received, I'm going to map the article. And this is done. And now over here, I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that I have received a response and it is a positive response. A document ID have been generated. Now I will take you to my Google Docs account once again. And here you can see that in that blank document, the article is successfully inserted. So here you can see the document name that is instant ways to get better at public speaking. And here you can see the article which was generated by using Anthropic. Here you can see that the automated article is successfully inserted over here in Google Docs. So this integration and automation was a successful one. 
Now, whenever a new title will be added in Google Sheets, then automatically an article will be generated on that title by using Anthropic and then by using text formatter, the text will be split into parts and over here then a blank document will be created in Google Docs and then the automated article will be inserted over here in the Google Docs. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.